Hello, everybody, and welcome to Election Night 2020. Tonight is a night where our country decides who the president will be for the next four years. Will Trump get reelected for a second term, or will Biden trump over the current president? Find out next. So, according to recent polling, this is the 2020 consensus map, according to polls. Will this happen over the course of the night? Let's find out. The first states to close are in Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, South Carolina, Vermont, and Virginia. Now let's get in to the projection board. In the state of Georgia, it is officially too close to call, as Georgia is one of the swing states. In the state of Kentucky, we can project that Donald Trump will win the state's eight electoral votes. Then in the state of South Carolina, it is too close to call, but Trump has a pretty big lead in the state of South Carolina. In the state of Vermont, we can project that Joe Biden will win Vermont and the state's three electoral votes. And then last but not least, in the state of Virginia, it is too close to call, as the election is actually a lot closer, but then again, some big cities like Virginia Beach still haven't been counted yet. We are now waiting for the 7.30 pool closing time, and that is in the states of North Carolina, Ohio, and West Virginia. Let's see what we've got. We can project that North Carolina is too close to call at this time. The election race is pretty close in that state, but we also can project that in the state of Ohio, Donald Trump has a big lead, but it is still too close to call. Last but not least, in the state of West Virginia, Trump wins West Virginia and the state's five electoral votes. I project that Virginia will go to Joe Biden and he will get the state's 13 electoral votes. We can also project at this time that Donald Trump will win the state of Indiana with 11 electoral with their 11 electoral votes. That leads four current states that are too close to call. And we'll see what happens at the 8 o'clock polling time. The next poll closing time is at 8 o'clock, and this is a big one, with Alabama, Connecticut, Delaware, Washington, D.C., Florida, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Mississippi, Missouri, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and Tennessee will be decided. Well, let's see what happens. We can now project that Donald Trump will win the state of Alabama pretty convincingly. And then in the state of Connecticut, Joe Biden has won that as well. In the state of Delaware, Joe Biden's home state, Joe Biden also wins the state of Delaware. In Washington, D.C., Biden has a big lead, and we project him to win Washington, D.C. And Florida is way too close to call. This is one of the states that is a must-win for both parties. I have a feeling whoever wins this state will win the election. In the state of Illinois, that has gone to Joe Biden. In the state of Maine, it is too close to call at this moment in time. In the state of Maryland, we can project that Joe Biden has won Maryland pretty convincingly. But in the state of Mississippi, Donald Trump wins that state six electoral votes, and he also wins the ten electoral votes in Missouri, and New Hampshire is too close to call at this time as well as New Jersey is too close to call, which is one that shocks us here at the news desk. We can also project that Donald Trump will win Oklahoma and their state's seven electoral votes. And in the state of Pennsylvania, it is too close to call, but it is going pretty well for Donald Trump and his campaign. In the state of Rhode Island, we can project that Rhode Island has gone to Joe Biden. And in the state of Tennessee, we can project that Donald Trump has won the state of Tennessee. At this point, we can project that Donald Trump has won South Carolina and its nine electoral votes by a pretty big margin. And we cannot yet determine Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, or Ohio at this time. We are now reaching the 8.30 poll closing time, and that is in the state of Arkansas, and we will see what happens there. We can project that Donald Trump has won the state of Arkansas and it's six electoral votes. 
And we can now also project that the state of Maine will go to Joe Biden and his campaign. That lead to score currently 82 to 67, and 116 of the state's electoral votes are still cl- too close to call. But in North Carolina, it looks like it's going to go Donald Trump, but we cannot make a projection on that yet. Same with the state of New Jersey. We think that that will go to Joe Biden, but nothing too official yet. We now have the 9 o'clock poll closing time in the state. In the states of Arizona, Colorado, Kansas, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Mexico, New York, North Dakota, South Dakota, Texas, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. We can project that in the state of Arizona. It is too close to call as if you see those numbers on your screen, which there are no numbers, so I don't know why we said that. It's really close. Not decided yet. In the state of Colorado, we can declare that it is too close to call Although it's looking to go Joe Biden's way, we just don't know yet, for sure. Donald Trump has won Kansas, as well as the state of Louisiana. Pretty good wins there for Donald Trump. And in the state of Michigan, we can declare that it is too close to call at this time. In the state of Minnesota, it is also too close to call. In the state of Nebraska, we can confirm that Donald Trump has won Nebraska and their five electoral votes. In the state of New Mexico, we can project that Joe Biden has won their five electoral votes in New Mexico. In the state of New York, it is too close to call. This is one of the shockers of the night. Donald Trump said that he hopes to win his former home state of New York, but polls have shown that it's likely not going to happen, but with what we've seen so far, it may happen. North and South Dakota have gone to Donald Trump. He wins their combined six electoral votes. The state of Texas is too close to call. That is one of the biggest states and one of the closest polls that we have seen recently. In the state of Wisconsin, we can also say it is too close to call. And in the state of Wyoming, we give Wyoming to Donald Trump. You can take a look now at our current electoral map, the yellow States are the ones that have not been confirmed yet, but we're going to get some confirmations on a few of those states right now. We can confirm that North Carolina has gone to Donald Trump, as well as the state of New Hampshire after last election being so close for a Hillary Clinton win, Donald Trump pulls out in New Hampshire. And in New Jersey, we can confirm that Joe Biden has won the state of New Jersey, as well as winning the state of Minnesota. That makes the electoral lead 129 to 96 as we reach the 10 p.m. poll closing time in Iowa, Montana, Nevada, and Utah. We can confirm in the state of Iowa, Donald Trump has won the state of Iowa, getting their six electoral votes. Donald Trump also wins the state of Montana with their three electoral votes. In the state of Nevada, it is too close to call at this moment in time. And in the state of Utah, Donald Trump has won the state of Utah. This gives the Republicans and Donald Trump a 144 to 96 electoral lead with yet 202 electoral votes still left open. Donald Trump has a lead in the popular vote, but California at this time has not closed. We now have the opportunity to make a big big projection. Joe Biden will win the state of Colorado and their nine electoral votes. Joe Biden will also win the state of Wisconsin and gain their 10 electoral votes. That's a state that Trump, I'm sorry, has campaigned a lot in trying to get their votes, but no cigar. He loses Wisconsin. Also project at this time that New York will go to Joe Biden, and this makes the electoral vote, as you can see on your screen, 144 to 144. But that won't last for long, because we can now project that Joe Biden has won Massachusetts. That makes the score 155 to 144, But Donald Trump has won the state of Georgia by a very close margin, but but Trump still wins overall. That leads us with 160 to 155, closing in on the 11 p.m. poll closing time. We can now project that the state of Hawaii will go to Joe Biden, as well as the state of Oregon, the state of 
Washington is too close to call at this time, although it looks like it's going to go to Joe Biden. And California has gone to Joe Biden. That gives Joe Biden 221 electoral votes. And the Republicans won, and Donald Trump 160. But he gains four more with the win in Idaho. There are 153 electoral votes still open. We still got to wait for the Alaska poll closing times, which are at 1 a.m. We can now make a big projection. Ohio will go to Donald Trump and the Republicans. We can now also make another projection that Joe Biden has won the state of Washington, making the electoral vote 233 to 182. Nevada, Arizona, Texas, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Florida votes are still way too close to call. We are now racking up at 1 a.m. poll closing time in the state of Alaska. We can project that Donald Trump has won the state of Nevada, Alaska pretty convincingly in getting their three electoral votes. We can also project that Nevada will go red and get, and Donald Trump will get six of their electoral votes. There are still five states left in the open, and these five states will determine the presidential election. It is now around 2 a.m., and we have a major projection in the state of Florida. We can now announce that Florida will go to Donald Trump. This is a must-win state for Donald Trump. If Biden were to have won it, the score would have been 262 to 191, and Trump would have had to won every other state. The Democrats, all they need to win, they only need 36 electoral votes to win, and the Republicans only need 50 electoral votes to win. It is so close. The Republicans must win the state of Texas, and Arizona is not needed. It's close, ladies and gentlemen. The winning combinations for Democrats, is there are two winning combinations where the Democrats win, and two combinations where the Republicans win, and one in where there is a tie. The two Democrat wins are if they win the state of Texas, they will win the election. If they win the state of Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Arizona, they will also win. But the Republicans, they need Texas and Pennsylvania to get 278, and Texas and Michigan to get 274. And in the possibility of a 269-269 tie, Donald Trump will win Texas and Arizona, and Biden will win Pennsylvania and Michigan. It is so close, ladies and gentlemen. And now we are getting news from the state of Pennsylvania right now. We can project that Donald Trump will win the state of Pennsylvania by a very, very close margin. This puts Republicans at the lead. There's a total 65 electoral votes still up for grabs. Let's check out the winning combinations right now. There is no possibility at tying at this point in time. The Democrats, all they need is Texas, and Texas is so close right now. And the Republicans need Texas too. So Texas is the only state that is down to the wire. Whoever wins Texas will win this presidential election. We are now getting breaking news out of Arizona. Arizona has gone for Joe Biden. This slims the margin for the Democrats and the Republicans. This makes it 240 to 244. And it is down to Michigan and Texas where Trump has a lead in both of those states. And we are getting news from the state of Michigan right now. <laughs> Michigan has gone for Donald Trump and the Republicans they will win Michigan, and now it is all down to the state of Texas. Look at the electoral map right now. It has been an exciting night, and it all comes down to the state of Texas. What will happen here? We'll find out in a little bit. It all comes down to the state of Texas. Nobody saw this coming. I cannot believe it. Up oh, here we are. This is it. The election comes down to this prediction right here. The state of Texas will go to the Republicans and Donald Trump. And Donald Trump has won his second term of his election. 
beating out Joe Biden with an electoral victory of 294 to 244. Joe Biden has won the popular vote by around 3 million, we can estimate at this point in time. Texas votes still haven't been counted fully, but what we see, Donald Trump has won the state of Texas, and this means that Donald Trump will be your president for another four years. Now let's check into the campaign site in Washington, D.C.